you ever heard something called moral truth? What is moral truth? Morals are our definitions of a right and wrong. Definitions of right and wrong. And the lines separating good behavior from evil behavior. Now, morals are not uh, an explanation of how things necessarily are, but uh, just a description of how things ought to be. This implies a level of obligation. Labeling something morals just means we ought to actively pursue it, while something immoral ought to be actively avoided. And when we call something moral, we associate it with uh, concepts such as good, right, proper, honorable, or ethical. And the natural morality also means that the arrangement of those moral lines should be in a way uh, in which those concepts are are, are, are la- arrayed. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now, this, this should in itself just be a moral imperative since uh, that which is not moral is to be actively opposed. Truth is our definition of reality and the line separating what uh, is real from what is not real. Truth is also an explanation of how things really are and not how we wish they were or even how they ought to be. And when we refer to truth, we evoke concepts such as actual, real, factual, genuine, or existing. And the nature of truth means that uh, those things which are untrue or false, either they do not exist or cannot happen. Truth is, in its own imperative is basically just uh, and like understanding that uh, a person can either accept it or reject it, but it cannot be altered by opinions. That is what truth is. You cannot opinionate a truth and say, oh, this is my opinion, and then it becomes the, the truth. No. So, on the surface, morality and truth seem to occupy separate uh, spheres. One, truth describes what is, and morality describes what ought to be. Speaking of moral truth, we get an implication which is basically a combination of those two ideas. A moral truth will be right and good as well as actual and real. And of course, since what is and what ought are not necessarily identical, the question arises whether moral truth can exist in a meaningful way and what it would look like. As it turns out, understanding morality requires a similar approach as any other set of facts, and it is either objective or subjective. Objective morality, which is also labeled as a absolute morality, implies that something fixed, something fixed is according to an unchanging perspective. And objective moral principles are linked to unmoving universal point of reference. Subjective morals are also called uh, re- relativism and are linked to some changing, shifting, or uh, preference based perspectives. But one pr- problem with the uh, subjective morality is that it quickly becomes a contradiction in terms. If the lines defining what is right and wrong can be moved, then the purpose of morals itself is lost. One could conceivably call the same choice in the same situation either moral or immoral. And according to different points of reference, that in itself defeats the purpose of morality. So now, practical decisions, we understand they might be entirely reversed in that case, and that subjective morality is self-contradictory, implying that the actual morality is tied to something objective. That is more rational to say that uh, moral truth exists than to say that it doesn't exist. And finally, 
we can ultimately understand that the only reasonable basis for moral truth is God. An uncreated, unchanging, perfect standard would always fit the definitions of both truth and morality simultaneously. Any basis for comparison or judgment eventually relies on an assumed absolute standard. Whether the concept is that uh, which is or that which is ought to be, the only reasonable basis is God. And this means that that uh, which God calls good, it is the standard of morality and that is the moral truth. Did it make some sense to you? <laughs> That's the end of our Bible study uh, today. Hope it was a blessing to you. Hope you did learn something. And remember, you can always download this podcast to listen later offline or to share to your friends and family. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and favorite our podcast so that you can always be notified whenever you post a new Bible study lesson. And if you like to get saved or you need a step-by-step Bible verses on the order of salvation so that you can well preach to your friends and family, or maybe just feel led to support our ministry or buy some cool Christian merchandise, kindly visit our website, keithmuwaki.com, for more details and breakdown. Otherwise, I hope to see you soon in the next one. Mm -hmm.